With a record 188 homicides in the metro last year, a majority of these legislative priorities focuses on reducing that number, including encouraging the state to pass common sense gun laws or giving the city the power to pass its own. The year on the calendar just changed, but many of our priorities remain unchanged. And the top priority is the deadly gun violence plaguing the metro. Just hours into the new year, the city already recorded its first homicide. This is our problem to solve, and it can never be looked at as a new normal. This is a whole of government, whole of city issue that requires everyone's attention and cooperation. The mayor and some Metro Council members are now asking for the cooperation of state lawmakers by passing what they say are common sense gun laws, specifically requiring firearm owners to safely store their guns and impose liabilities on them for damage caused to others if they fail to do so. They also want gun owners to be required to report if their guns have been lost or stolen. They're also asking that state laws be amended to allow law enforcement to destroy firearms that are confiscated instead of sending them to to be auctioned. Oftentimes, those very same weapons are being used against our citizens. And there's no common sense in that. The city is also asking for money in the state budget to expand the juvenile detention center, which was closed due to budget cuts. Juvenile justice is a state responsibility. It is a state responsibility across the entire Commonwealth. And we had an increasing liability of Louisville taxpayers paying for that locally. So many of the trigger pullers and unfortunately, so many of the victims are kids. Former U.S. Attorney Russell Coleman has been a key advocate for the Group Violence Intervention Program. The city is now asking lawmakers to help expand the program by making risk and needs assessments mandatory for those accused of violent crimes. It works. We've known for 30 years it works because it's been implemented effectively in cities large and small. City leaders want the community to call on their legislators and encourage them to take these steps to make the metro a safer place for everyone. Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you, Drew. The city is also calling on legislators to take steps to improve transparency and again asking they give the newly created Civilian Review Board and the Office of Inspector General subpoena power and repeal a section of state law that prohibits police and city officials from discussing pending disciplinary cases.